Okay, it's winter. Uh, well, it's not quite winter. Today is November 22nd, right before Thanksgiving here tomorrow. And uh, am I interested in turkey? Well, yes, but I'm more interested in polenta here. Because, oh, we didn't, our fire went out. Because I get on these kicks. I had a sub kick, hoagie, uh, a hoagie kick, and a tomato sandwich kick, and now I think it's going to be polenta. Just because polenta's such a doggone near and dear thing to my heart, um, and especially when you make it in the, a little bit more, way with more cheese. Uh, this used to be uh, considered like a peasant food, and it still is a peasant food. It's cheap. It's just cornmeal, and um, you can put sauces on it, and you can, you can bake it, and you can cheese it, and, and you can do all kinds of things to it to make it really, really good. Not that it's not good just as corn, but, uh, okay, that polenta's ready. It does not take long at all, this stuff. Let me turn the fire off here. This is uh, polenta falsoguana. And, uh, yeah, it says here someplace, oh, yeah, right under my thumb there, that it's ready in eight minutes. And it, it sure is. So, uh, this comes out nice and pretty thick there. And I don't think that was even eight minutes. I just poured, uh, oh, what was it here, 400 milliliters of polenta. 400 milliliters, not grams as the package says, but 400 milliliters as the measuring cup says. And, um, oh, 1.2, no, no, 700, 720 milliliters of water, which is, oh, what's that? That's a little, it's over a pint. It's about, I don't know, a pint and a quarter. It's about 720 milliliters, maybe a pint and three eighths. In any case, you get it boiling, you just put your polenta in it, and you keep stirring, 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 because it wants to fall out of the water and go to the bottom and burn. And, uh. We don't want to burn our polenta. We might want to toast it at some point. Not today. Today we're just going to have it with cheese. Okay, so here's my polenta. Now, this is if this uh, kick stays for very long, you'll see this dressed up a lot of different ways. This time I, all I had was uh, uh, some shredded Parmesan and some uh, chunks of uh, pecorino cheese, dry pecorino I put in there. And I happen to like... It, uh, as a vehicle for hot sauce sometimes. Eh, not too much, not in the whole thing, but a little bit. Because that corny taste in the hot sauce goes good. Corn's a New World vegetable, kind of has that whole Tex-Mex thing going, even though polenta's the Italian version of it. Um, but yeah, that's lunch today. I'm going to eat eating before this gets cold. Okay, not to get off the joy of the polenta too much here, but... I'm trying a different hot sauce on this. The Crystal's a pretty good go-to hot sauce, basic. But this, here, somebody left for me here. Thanks, Roz. Bourbon Street hot sauce. And wow, that's a good one. It's kind of green and uh, interesting. Not super, super hot, which is great. A really good pepper taste comes all through there. Which, which uh, you know, that's what it's all about. So anyway, yeah, more on polenta later.